G'day folks, I'm Bowie10 and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be ranking Marika A Deluxe's Wave 5 of the Boost the Course Pass. After having a couple weeks of playing these tracks, I've had some time to think about what tracks I like better than others. Also, before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot, and I look forward to making more videos like this in the future. Now let's get into it. Yeah, I think everyone expected this track to be in last. Sunset Into Place Wilds is one of the worst remakes of all time, which is a shame because this is one of the tracks I was most looking forward to for the entirety of the Booster Course past. Ever since it was data mined on the Banner League, I was really eager to play this track since I had not played its remade version in tour. So why is it so bad you ask? Well, Nintendo didn't even put a sunset in this track, which was the main gimmick of the original track. Now, I don't know why they didn't put a sunset in this track, apparently it was something to do with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Skybox, but that is not good enough, Nintendo. If you can't remake a track better than the original, then you shouldn't bring it back at all. This kind of shows Nintendo being lazy too, since Lakeside Park released not long after Wave 5's release, and that track was pretty good in tour. But it's not all bad though. The environment's actually really cool, and I like how the Shy Guys dance around on the track. Also, there are really cool shortcuts in this track that I love performing in time trials. So yeah, it may not be as good as this original version, or the one in tour, but it's still a solid track and it's pretty fun to race on. But for now, Sunset Wilds will remain in the last place spot. Okay, okay, let me explain. So, a lot of you guys have ranked this in your number one spots, including many YouTubers, but I just don't seem to like it as much as other tracks in this wave. Don't get me wrong, it's still a solid track and I really enjoy playing this one. I especially love the theme of this track, taking place in a bathroom which we have not ever seen before in a Mario Kart track. Which is pretty damn cool, but in saying that, it's a bit basic for my liking. Don't get me wrong, basic tracks can be good, but compared to other tracks in this wave, I just don't see it being a real contender for that top spot. Which is a shame because this track had the most hype around it. But it's still solid, I like choosing it, I like racing on it, and it's a pretty fun addition to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe course selection. But yeah, this track has some awesome features about it like racing to a bathtub and the drain sucks you down. Also gliding over a toilet at the very end of the track is pretty cool, but I especially like the bit with the soap and the fan. I find it cool that the wind actually pushes your cart sideways. I think this is a nice touch and I'm really happy about that. So yeah, a really solid track, but there's just some other tracks that are just better in this wave. So for now, Squeaky Clean Sprint will remain at the number 7 spot. Okay, so this is an interesting one because this is the most hyped track of this wave, especially since it's rounding out the wave, and it just didn't live up to the hype. So, out of all the tour tracks coming into this wave, I did expect this one to be the best. But, that did not happen. Unfortunately, Vancouver, as much as it's a great track, it just didn't deliver like the other two tracks in this wave. Like, don't get me wrong, this track is awesome and is one of the best two tracks in the Booster Course Pass. But, compared to Alley Laps and Athens Dash, it just didn't deliver like I thought it would. And that's mainly because the city part of this track was pretty forgettable. Other than the ice rink and the bridge at the start, there's not much to really remember from this track. I mean, going through the park looks pretty cool as well, but that's really it. I think that's why it's ranked so low on this list, because parts of the track are forgettable, and that's why it's a downgrade from other tracks in this wave, because most of the track is actually fun. I'd much rather race a track that's fun throughout, 
than a track that has a couple parts that are fun. But that's not to say the background is beautiful itself, with the icy mountains and the beautiful night sky fitting this track very well. I also love the brown leaves falling onto the road. I think this gives the track more life to it, showing the cold night air in Vancouver. So yeah, a great track, but it does remain at the 6th spot on my list. LA Laps. So, this track surprised me. I never really played tour much, and I got told that LA Laps wasn't the greatest tour track, but, oh boy, they were wrong. I really enjoy starting off on the harbour, and then you make your way down to the beach. It's really cool how there's skate ramps on the beach, and I love how they implemented that in a half pipe. I also love flying over Dodger Stadium, which is really cool and a really nice touch. And also, I'm a massive baseball fan, so that helps. I also like the bit where you go through Beverly Hills. It's a pretty cool area, and also the very end where you go through the oil fields. I think this track is pretty good all the way through, but it doesn't stand out as much as other tracks in this wave. So yeah, LA is a pretty solid track, and for a tool track, it actually does well. So that's why LA Laps will round out the bottom half of this list. Moon View Highway. The track no one expected to be here. It was a big surprise this track coming this wave. And it has left us questioning what's to come in wave 6. This is because we were not meant to have two Wii tracks in this wave. And it's really shaken things up since it doesn't match up with the prefix datamine leak. So let's get into the track. First off, this track looks amazing in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The city looks so cool and I love the flashing lights from the windows. I especially like the new look sky in this track. The moon adds so much more depth to it. Another thing I love about this track is the returning of the bomb cars. Those things are sick and I love running into them getting exploded. Even though it doesn't help you out in the race, but it's still cool. I also love the addition of all the boost panels having their own pattern every time you race and it actually changes which I thought was a cool touch they put to this track. And back in Wii, I thought this track looked awesome itself, but then it came Mark A Deluxe, and oh boy, this track looks amazing. So yeah, Moonview Highway is a very fun track to race on, and it does a great job of getting that fourth slot in this ranking. So... Cooper Cape from Mario Kart Wii has been an interesting track over the years. Obviously, when being introduced to Mario Kart Wii, it was a fan favourite right away and everyone loved this track. But then, it got released to Mario Kart 7 and got a massive downgrade. And Tua's version was just as bad. But then, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Oh man, this track surprised me. As soon as I started racing on this track in 8 Deluxe, I knew it was going to be a banger. The visuals have been upgraded so perfectly that the track just looks so different. I feel like Cooper Cape really deserved redemption after its previous two entries, and I think Nintendo did just that. I mean, this version of Cooper Cape may not be as good as Wii's, but it still fixed the problems that the previous two entries had. Just like the glider ramp just before the river section, I felt like it was pointless to have it there and it really just died down the fun of the track. So yeah, I'm really happy how this track turned out and I'm glad we got it in the booster course pass. I was more leaning towards Dry Dry Ruins but I'm glad we got Cooper Cape. GCN Daisy Cruiser 
my second favourite track of all time. I knew it was going to be a banger in A Deluxe and I was right. This track does such a great job of upgrading the visuals from the original version. I really love how it looks in Marco Darks and it's just a stunning track. I can't believe how many waves it took to get this track because I've been anxiously awaiting its arrival for quite some time now. And as soon as I saw it get released, I was stoked. Playing on this track for the first time really took me back to the good old days playing Double Dash on the GameCube. Going back to Mario Kart Double Dash's version, the original track actually felt larger for me. I don't know if that's for anyone else, but for some reason I feel like this track has gotten really short all of a sudden. Which isn't necessarily a problem, but that the fact that the original version was better it may be, but that just might be me. One other thing I reckon the original version had going for it, I feel like it's just, I know that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe allows you to drive underwater, but I prefer going around the pool. I reckon it just makes it feel unnecessary to have it there, but it is in a game where you can drive underwater, so I'll let it slide. But yeah, overall, Daisy's Cruiser still remains one of the best tracks of all time, and I was really happy to see it return. Although it got number two on this list, and is my second favourite track of all time, it just doesn't beat the top track in this ranking. This track! Okay, okay, let me explain. Now, most of you will be wondering, what the heck is a tour track doing in the number one spot? Hear me out. This track feels nothing like a tour track. When I first played this wave, this was the first track I played, obviously, being the first track in wave five. And after racing on it, I, I, my reaction was, what the f I could not believe how good this track was. I was impressed that this was the first track of the wave because I thought, wow, the rest of the wave must be insane. <laughs> but it wasn't. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. This is probably the best wave in the Bristol Course Pass. But Athens Dash, man. I cannot believe how good this track turned out. Every section you feel like you're in a different part of the map. Like, don't get me wrong, obviously, two tracks, you visit all different parts, but even the parts that are the same, they feel different because of how you come into them. Also, this track has some insane shortcuts you can pull off, which keeps people interested in what other shortcuts they could find on the track. Like, when I first played this, I saw so many shortcuts, but didn't take them because I just didn't know how to. But I didn't even know about that cave shortcut on the left at the very end until weeks after it released. I also love the place this track is set in. Athens, Greece has one of the most fascinating histories to it. And driving through all the ancient ruins is so cool. It's such a great city to have as a track and I love racing on this track all the time and I hope to see more tracks just like this in the coming future. So yeah, Athens Dash from Mario Kart Tour really delivered and took the number one spot in this ranking. I think this might also be one of my most favourite tracks of all time. I just simply can't get enough of it. But that concludes my ranking of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Way 5 of the Booster Course Pass. Let me know in the comments section down below how you would rank this wave. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for future videos. Bowie TV is signing off.